On this video at Doug's Home Arcade, showcasing my Future Spa Pinball Machine by Bally, released in 1979. Now this was a game uh, that I played at a local family fun center that was right by my house. Uh, they had gotten this game back in 79. I believe I played it in end of 79, beginning of 80, right around there. And when I went to that Family Fun Center. This was the very first pinball machine that I played. It was actually the very first time I was at that Family Fun Center, which later on, about a year later in 81, it became my second home at that point when I was able to ride my bike uh, to that arcade. But the one thing that drew me to this game was this backlash, especially how it lights up Future Spa with the lighting effect. Uh, pretty awesome. And this is also just one of my favorite back glasses. And uh, this scheme is also a wide body. And I'm not a big fan of wide bodies, um, especially when it comes to the Bally games. I know everybody loves Paragon, and uh, there's also Space Invaders as well, but I, just to name a couple, Embryon's another one. Um, but I'm just not a big fan of any of those games, but for some reason, this game I really enjoy. Actually, I hadn't, I had never had one of these, and this particular machine that you're looking at was sitting in storage since 1984. Uh, it definitely got played. Uh, it's not in the greatest condition, uh, but it's uh, the bulk of it's pretty much all original. I'll go over what I've done to it in a moment here. And I had gotten this game on a bulk buy where there was an operator that was operating these games back in the day. Uh, operated them until 84. And then they sat in storage all the way up to about, uh, I believe it was 2017. And uh, there was quite a few games that were in there. And I kept three of them. Uh, one was a Phoenix. One is an 8-Ball Deluxe. And... The other is this Future Spa. And I actually wasn't going to keep this game. I wasn't really on the hunt for one, but when I got this all set up, I just fell in love with this game, and so far it's part of my permanent collection. Uh, maybe one day I'll try to find one in a little bit uh, better shape, but uh, this is a really good player, actually, so I'm in no rush. And it's still uh, in pretty overall good shape. Cabinet's actually not too bad. Most of these are really faded out pretty bad. This one's not too bad. The back glass in this one's in really nice shape. That's all original. The only thing I had to do was paint the uh, frame on the head. And as far as the play field, installed uh, new drop targets. Uh, they are all pretty wiped out. Uh, some minor touch up on the play field. Uh, the worst spot was right, uh, that big spot right there by the sling. Uh, too bad there wasn't a mylar um, decal that was over that area would have protected it. And the oddest part was the apron. The paint was actually flaking off really bad on the apron. So I was on the hunt for one, but never found a nice one. So I stripped this one down, and um, they make a decal that you could use to restore it. So it's not the exactly the original look, but overall I'm pretty happy with it. It came out pretty good. This is also the very first game that uh, Bally released that had the background sounds as well. And I think that's another reason why I like this game. It's got... Uh, just some awesome sounds on it. Alright, well we're going to go and pause for a moment and we'll get a game started so you can see in action.